Hello, my name is Sarah Thompson Moore. In collaboration with the Office of Arts and Culture and Seattle Public Utilities, I've been selected to create a public art installation at the Alki Pump Station 38 through the city's 1% for Art program. I'll start with a little bit about myself and my background in the arts. I grew up in Eastern Oregon and Northern Idaho, and I currently live with my family in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, about a six hour drive from Seattle. I'm also a member of the Cow Creek Band of Umpqua Tribe of Indians in Southwestern Oregon. I consider myself a regional artist of the Pacific Northwest. My development as an artist has been a lifelong pursuit. I spent a number of years working as a bronze foundry artisan and alongside other regional sculptors through internships and my foundry work. And my studies have also taken me to Florence, Italy, and I eventually obtained a degree in sculpture from the Pennsylvania Academy of the Fine Arts in Philadelphia. I've created public art for New York City's Riverside Park South along the Hudson River and then Cortland Park in the Bronx, New York, and I have sculpture located on the Florida Keys Sculpture Trail. More recently, I've had opportunities to work on cultural and historical art projects with my own tribe, and I am currently building a sculptural installation along the Spokane River that was developed with the consultation and approval of the Spokane Tribe of Indians, located on their ancestral fishing grounds. Having lived most of my life in rural and mountainous areas of the Northwest, I am a nature enthusiast, and I prefer to design public works that exist within a natural setting. So to design for the site of the Alki Beach Pump Station 38 is truly an incredible opportunity for me and the progression of my work, and I am very grateful for that opportunity. A number of themes arose in my research and site observations on Alki. Of particular interest to me is the natural history of the area before European settlement and the changes that have occurred since then. These themes I feel tie full circle into the present use of the site as a pump station, which is part of an underground network laboring to divert waste pollution from the waterways. I discovered also a topographical map from 1894 of the area, which my design is modeled from. And the map describes West Seattle's terrain as it existed in the earlier years of settlement, when the land was still largely undeveloped and untouched by what was to come. The lines in the map are visually striking to me, and they remind me of varying layers of the story of Alki. The lines resemble to me tree rings, which symbolizes the progression of time and also ties into the history of the ancient Western red cedar forests that once existed on Alki and were very important to the way of life of the native people. The lines also remind me of shellfish, which is a significant area food source that is no longer edible in many cases due to pollution of the waterways, such as the Duwamish River. The lines too resemble ripples in the water, which to me symbolize cause and effect and the water being the main source of food and travel for indigenous cultures. We know water is important for all life and is additionally the reason for the existence of this pump station. And finally, the lines to me resemble fingerprints, which also cause me to think about how I would like to leave my own mark on this planet. So in these ways, I see the topographical map as both a literal and a figurative interpretation of the story of Alki. Essential to that story is also the history and culture of the native inhabitants of this land. I will be using a combination of materials and techniques to create the imagery fitting within the planned pump station concrete pad. And we are working with SPU in Seattle and the Seattle Arts Conservator to determine the options that will best observe anti-slip standards for safety, maximum longevity, as well as low maintenance over time. Some of these options include engraved patterning by way of saw cut lines and sandblast patterning, as well as integral color and aggregates mixed directly into the concrete substrate and recycled glass coatings applied topically, as well as retroreflective grout or concrete, which will activate the site in low light conditions. Wherever possible, I'm looking at materials that are reactive to lighting conditions and weather. 
because I want the artwork to both integrate into and respond to the surrounding environment in subtle ways. This I feel will create a bit of magic and a unique experience with each visit. And it also ties into one of the ongoing themes of my work, which is to create art that is in conversation or collaboration, if you will, with the natural environment and to provide spaces for contemplation. While the main installation is meant to be open to and encourage many interpretations, the on-site utility boxes will provide an opportunity for more nuanced context and interpretive text about the history of the site as it relates to the artwork and these varying layers to the story of Alki. The details are still in process, but my initial material interests would be to use iridescent vinyl to integrate imagery onto the boxes and follow the themes of the installation visually, while also being able to incorporate text by way of printing on the material. My overall hope for this installation is to provide something for every new visitor to connect with, while still leaving more to be revealed for those who visit often and spend more time at the site. To learn more about the project and to share your feedback, please head to the web link listed here. And I'd like to conclude with a big thank you to those of you who provided feedback through our online survey. And thank you so much for your interest in this artwork.